You know, I've been trying to keep track of what I think about games before and after I play them by using that classic format. What I played. What I expected. This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. What I got, on the other hand, is a totally different experience. You're our favorite indeed. Being a pirate is hard to be. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Although most of the game you'll be sailing around the seven seas and killing landlubbers, in real life you actually work for this company called Abstergo. And I'm sorry, but that is that is just way too close to Asperger's. Seriously, like every time that I see that logo, I see the words Asperger's to go, Abstergo. Using this company's technology, you can synchronize with past genetic memories and virtually pretend that you're a pirate in the 18th century. But before you're allowed to do that, you have to finish your first day orientation, which includes both touring the building where every female seems to have a bull cut and acquainting yourself with the employee handbook. Vacation, benefits, diversity, non-disclosure. Am I here to set up a 401k or become a pirate? God. Oh yeah, don't forget to meet your new boss. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Shut your god damn mouth. Allow me to say this to you right now. If you're a pirate storming around murdering landlubbers, stealing buried treasure, and flicking gunpowder into the eyes of orphans, you call it the Caribbean. But if you're the CCO of a technology company and the only time that you travel to that area of the world is on a carnival cruise, you call it the Caribbean. Speaking of which, it's extremely fun being in this part of the world doing whatever you want as this pirate named Edward or Duncan, or Edward, depending on who you're pretending to be that day. And naturally, as soon as I started this game, I had to break the AI. It's almost like a ritual for me in any Ubisoft game, just to find the ways to completely cheese the game. And believe me, it didn't take very long. For example, many of your enemies have no idea how to swim. And the fun doesn't stop there. If you learn the movement patterns of your enemies, you can lead them into their own grenades that they seem to spam like it's Call of Duty 4 and they have Trip Frag equipped. But just so you know, most of the time running away from enemies is way more fun than killing them. Like just straight up pretending that this is college football and you're bobbing and weaving through people like it's the national championship is my favorite. And Chris Davis takes it in the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis! Oh my God! Davis is going to run it all the way back! Auburn's going to win the football game! Now, don't think that you have to run away every time. I mean, if you know how to left click and, oh, I don't know, press the E key on your keyboard to counter somebody, slaughtering 10 guys is the easiest thing in the world. You can pass, but it's not quite there. Oh. I love how immediately after stomping this entire squad, the game popped up a notification called Cheats. It's almost like Ubisoft was telling me, yeah, you're not supposed to kill that many people at one time, you nerd. And I must say, my favorite part about combat is how everything is interrupted and made awkward by the muskets. Like, you can slaughter an entire enemy squad, and just as you start to walk away like a boss. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? And believe me, if you ever challenge somebody in the 18th century to a 1v1, it would be the most awkward thing in the world because of reloads. The real fun doesn't start until you get your own ship and start terrorizing the seven seas looking for one thing and one thing only. Booty. And I'm not talking about booty, booty. I'm talking about booty, as in treasure, rum, and anything that you are physically able to steal. Take everything that isn't nailed down. Hey man, your sailors even sing about booty so often, you may as well start cranking some Sir mix -a lot on your 18th century ghetto blaster. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up tough, cause you notice that butt was stuck. You've got 
a pretty awesome quartermaster if you can suspend your prejudice because I know as soon as you see him you immediately think oh it's the Caribbean and we're so close to Jamaica so he's gotta sound like Bombasta blood glot I am the original Jamaica but he's actually pretty eloquent if you listen to him speak this kid on the other hand is the worst oh look at me I speak in riddles and think that an above average diction somehow makes me intelligent he's the ultimate manifestation of a wannabe Jack Sparrow and believe me when I say that I would have immediately rubbed gunpowder in his dead little eyes if the game allowed you to do so, which it sadly does not. This guy automatically is a bona fide pirate in my book simply because he looks like Captain Morgan and happens to drink massive amounts of rum. And this guy, I don't even know who this guy is. Like, are you French or Turkish or Greek? Like, do you not make debt repayments or Hispanic or something? I honestly have no idea. Like, zero clue. It, it could be so many different things, but. I just severed your left ventricle, so no matter what language you speak, you should only be saying one word right now. Mailed. Surprisingly, some of the game is actually quite relaxing. It's almost like watching a documentary on the History Channel about the 18th century that has no basis in biology or science, and the narrator has no idea what he's talking about. But what is water? It's a difficult question because water is impossible to describe. One might ask the same about birds. What are birds? We just don't know. Hunting iguanas is definitely one of the more morbid things that you'll do in the game, and it's certainly more difficult than it sounds because those fuckers are fast. <laughs> And I know I'm a little weird about this sort of thing, but I find the whole concept of iguana leather hilarious. Like, just imagine sitting on a leather couch with a random girl, and she's like, Oh, this is so comfortable. What is this? And you say, Ah, oh, that's Corinthian leather. Now imagine the same girl sits in the front seat of your car, and she says, Wow, this leather is so soft. What is this? Iguana. Um, what? It's iguana leather. It's leather from an iguana. Oh, um... Okay. Stealth in this game is not only subpar, but it's forced on you. I mean, sure, I found it kind of fun sneaking around like a ninja bush monster for five minutes. Go ninja, go ninja, go! 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 Go, 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 go! But the fact that Ubisoft forces you to sneak through this part undetected or else you instantly fail is complete hogwash to me. I mean, I'm a pirate, remember? Like, shouldn't I be able to do whatever I want here, whether that's guns blazing or splinter cell style? Come on now, don't force me into a gameplay style. Speaking of stealth, the blowpipe is pretty fun and super tactical, but I usually end up using the musket anyways because it sounds eight times better and you can dunk on people with it from above like you're LeBron James. One final word of advice is that the ship-to-ship -ship battles are actually quite terrific once you learn how to raid other ships, but, but, but... Be very careful to never bite off more than you can chew. Because there were several instances where I tried to take on a ship that was way better equipped than mine and way bigger than mine, and trying to escape was terrifying. So never try to jump ship once you start to fight. Abandoned ship! Oh yeah, you can kill sharks and whales with harpoons if you're into that sort of thing, and the part that I found the most hilarious is how you manage to hoist the thing onto your ship once you've killed it, like... Really? Uh, th these pirates managed to rig up and lift a whale the size of a Burger King onto their ship using an advanced pulley system? Like, how, man? Just how? Is my entire crew of pirates secretly like a bunch of German engineering interns or something? And you better believe that PETA got pretty butthurt about killing whales in this game, and you know what? I only have one word that comes to my mind when I think of killing poor, innocent, majestic whales at sea. Delicious. Like, this is so tender. I don't even need tartar sauce. This is perfect. Oh.